critical points in this video we are going to discuss the critical points of a function of a continuous function of one variable also we will discuss the types of critical points in detail uh, let's first check out what a critical point is uh, a critical point of a continuous function is a point on curve where either first derivative is zero or the first derivative is undefined so we can say that a critical point uh, is the one where uh, the first derivative is zero or where the first derivative does not exist now we will discuss both of these uh, uh, cases in detail first we uh, discuss the scenario where f dash x is equal to 0. So, when f dash x is equal to 0, we may get stationary points or inflection points. Now, we will discuss stationary points and inflection points in detail. Let's see what stationary points are. Uh, a stationary point of a continuous function is a point on the curve where its first derivative is 0. Now, we know that the first derivative gives the slope of tangent line to a curve at a certain points. So, if f dash x is equal to 0, it means the slope of tangent line is equal to 0, which gives the inclination of the tangent line to be 0. And if the inclination of tangent line is 0, uh, we conclude that the tangent line is parallel to the x-axis. So, the stationary points occur where tangent is parallel to x-axis. Let's explain it by a graph. We draw a graph of uh, a portion of uh, uh, sin x and we label its uh, x values. Now, here uh, we note that pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2 the point x is equal to pi by 2 and x is equal to 3 pi by 2. At these points, if we draw the tangent lines, these are parallel to x-axis. So, these are our stationary points. Also note that uh, if we uh, move from left of pi by 2, the function is increasing and if we move from uh, for, uh, towards right of uh, pi by 2, the function is decreasing. Also, at pi by 2, at uh, 3 pi by 2, uh, on the left, the function is decreasing and on the right, the function is increasing. So, we can also say that uh, at a stationary point, if a function is increasing on left, it uh, is decreasing on right or if it is decreasing on right, then it is increasing on left. Now we will discuss the point of inflection. Uh, a point of inflection of a continuous uh, function is a point on curve where its uh, second derivative is 0. Uh, the first derivative uh, gives the point, uh, stationary points or critical points, but the second derivative gives precisely the points of inflection. Uh, now, let's uh, check uh, points of uh, inflection from a different angle. We draw a graph of uh, the sine wave. Now, we label uh, the x values and pin out two points, pi and 2 pi note these two points first we uh, describe the point pi if we see towards the left uh, of the point pi the curve is concave down and if we go towards the right of pi we see that the curve is concave up so, we can say that at point pi, the concavity of the curve changes. So, the point where the concavity of the curve changes is called the point of inflection. Also, if we see 2 pi, 
on left the curve is concave up and on right curve is concave down so 2 pi is also the point of inflection one more thing at pi on left the on very left the function is decreasing and on very right the function is again decreasing similarly at uh, about 2 pi the function on the left the function is increasing and at the right the function is also increasing so this is an another uh, criteria uh, for the points of inflection so we can say that a point of inflection of a continuous function is a point on curve where concavity of curve changes we take a continuous function f of x is equal to sine x we find its critical points that is both stationary and points of inflection the function is uh, sin x its first derivative is cos x its second derivative is minus sin of x for stationary points we put first derivative is equal to zero uh, it gives cos x is equal to zero so x is equal to plus minus pi by 2 plus minus 3 pi by 2 plus minus 5 pi by 2 and so on these are the stationary points for points of inflection we put f double dash x is equal to 0 uh, which gives minus sine of x is equal to 0 sine of x is equal to 0 and we get x is equal to 0 plus minus pi by 2 plus minus pi plus minus 2 pi plus minus 3 pi and so on so these are points of inflection now we draw the graph of uh, sine wave and label these points as stationary and points of inflection we draw the graph of uh, sine function and label the points uh, on the graph we have uh, noticed that x is equal to plus minus pi by 2 plus minus 3 pi by 2 plus minus 5 pi by 2 are stationary points on this graph we label these stationary points by green circles here uh, minus 3 pi by 2 minus pi by 2 plus pi by 2 plus 3 pi by 2 and uh, 5 pi by 2 are stationary points also uh, we have uh, we have noticed that x is equal to 0 plus minus pi plus minus 2 pi and so on are points of inflection the points of uh, inflection are labeled as uh, white circles minus pi 0 pi and 2 pi the stationary points are those points uh, where the tangent lines are parallel to x axis and here we see that at green balls the tangents are parallel to x axis so these are the stationary points as we have already proved now we come to the white balls that is points of uh, inflection note that at points of inflection the tangent line crosses the curve it is an amazing fact that at point of inflection the tangent line crosses the curve so at uh, pi and 2 pi we can see that the tangent lines are crossing the uh, sine wave so this is an another criteria uh, for finding the tangent uh, the points of inflections of a curve so the points of inflections are where the concavity of a curve changes or the tangent line crosses the curve or uh, be, if before uh, the point the function is uh, decreasing after the point the function is also decreasing and if before point function is uh, increasing after the point the function is also increasing so we can say that the all the critical points are of uh, two types stationary points and inflection points all stationary points are critical points but all critical points are not stationary points likewise uh, 
uh, all points of inflections are uh, critical points but all critical points are not points of inflection now we come to the uh, second case of critical points that is when the first derivative does not exist at a certain point of a curve then that point is also a critical point let's explain it by an example we take the modulus function and draw the graph of the function and we check the differentiability of this function at x is equal to 0 so we uh, apply the basic uh, definition of derivative to find the uh, derivative of x mod at uh, x is equal to 0 so f dash 0 is equal to limit x approaches 0 f of x minus f of 0 over x minus 0 by definition now uh, uh, we place uh, value of uh, f of x is equal to x mod and f of 0 is equal to 0 mod uh, after simplification it becomes limit x approaches 0 x mod over x now we know that the x mod may be written as plus minus x so after evaluating the limit we get f dash 0 is equal to plus minus 1 so the limit is not unique it means the derivative doesn't exist at x is equal to 0 so x is equal to 0 is a critical point on this curve 